Right, welcome back to IJP Garden Machines and um, in this video I'm going to be having a look at the key start mount field. I'll, I'll get the model number when I can figure it out. It's got an RM, is it RM or RV? RM55 engine 160cc. It's a quite a big mower, self propelled, a full shebang. So I'll put a bit of fuel in. We'll um, get you on a tripod and see what it does because I'll have to take, I've got the charger for it as well, but I'll have to take that home with me later to charge to see if the battery's any good. But for the time being, we'll pull it over on the pull start and see if we can get it running and then we'll sort out the electric side of it. So make sure to like, share and subscribe. Thank you. And if you am new, you know, hit that button down there somewhere. Subscribe it, it. Yeah. Right. Just put the fuel in. Just check the air filter. In just in case it needs a key there to start. Not turn it and nothing. Nothing. So check the oil. This engine's a big engine. Oh yeah, surprise, surprise. And that oil again. Dipstick. Right, let's just put bit of pressure on just to help get it off. Okay. Like this, it, I like the other engines, the SVs and RVs. Mm, proper dipstick. Well that's looking sky high. Let's just make sure it's not because it's been tipped up. Tripod so I have to walk around it. So, a bit of oil here and growing. So, we need to take the battery off. All the cables look intact and good. You can hear that micro switch turn on and off. That's good. The drive one seems to be working on right. Locking up as well. That's good, it's a good sign that the gearbox is working. So, don't know where the nameplate is. I have found it online though when I was having a look when I first got it. Uh, yeah, I'll put the name in anyway once I figure it out. It's a nice little beast, I've got the box for it as well. Somewhere up there. Uh, right. So I'll put that on the let's see what it does.
Well, well, as you can see, it runs a bit smoky. Oh well, the angle was very good. I might start it up again. You heard it anyway. You heard it start. Um, but the drive's not working. So, I think I remember the bloke who I had it off said, "Had the belt come off?" I, I believe this was the one. I said the belt come off. Start it up once more. So it is. So what we'll do, gate up. Um, not sure if I'm going to need a card clean on this one. I just need a little service. I need a filter. It seems to run like a little kitten. Hers. So, oh day this one's going to kill me to get it up because it's a big one and I need to get it up quite high. So, I'll do. Take you off the camera a minute and we'll get whack this onto there. So that was a bit of a gang gaining up there. <laughs> a workout. Right. So I have now we know it starts easy. I've disconnected the HT lead. Just to make sure. Look how clean the engine is down there. Looks very clean. Well I'm gonna give it all a clean heart. And because this machine, I'm done with I'm getting rid of this one. This one might be my personal machine to um, go around doing gardens and stuff so that is it it's an SP 536 and I presume that is ES electric start I presume so let's get the battery out and those set you up on a tripod because the battery is here it looks like someone's already tried having a go at it that's why the things like that get that out then we'll check the belt just don't know how I'm going to do that yet. So I'm going to put you on a tripod. So... There's a battery. Oh, come out easier than expected. So, oh, there we go. There's a battery. Charged. Oh one, oh one of ten. Hmm. We may need a new battery. Depending. We'll see. We'll see. So I'll take that home with me. And there's a model number just in case anybody needs it. Because the pins, that one pin looks quite crowded. It's a bit of a pain, this is. Because the, the sun it's worse. You can see that one pin's a bit crowded, but I think it'll clean up. And as you can see, it's a right old state in here. It is, so what I'll try and do is get this. I'm going to need that wire as well to charge it. So what I'll do, what I'm going to do is probably um, turn it around. And that should deal with my lighting issue. One second. So I say the lighting's way better now. So let's figure out what we need to do. Take this box out. It needs a good clean. There was a screw, but as you can see, it was loose anyway. Because the we had it out last time didn't put it back right. Ah, that's it. Just be careful of the battery terminals. Wipe them out a little hole at the back. And this gives us access to the drive, drive as well. Huh. No belt even on. So I was right in thinking that the belt, something was up with the belt. What I'm going to do, see if I can route this cable through. The cable tie on the bottom. Really see what I'm doing. As you can see, I'm trying to get this cable out. 
Kyle can take that home, wouldn't they? To be able to charge it, unless I can just use a normal. Just some cable ties won't stop it, me. Um, yeah, there's a cable tie there. allows me to charge it now while it's off the mower because I can't charge it while it's on the mower and this is a yep so that wire now I can take that hole in there that will charge that up so what I'm going to do now as you can see that's absolutely covered in so what I'm going to do now is just get my wherever I put it Little brush, um, little brush, and just clean all this down. Clean inside. You might want to put a mask on. It's getting all this on your chest, so that's what I'm going to do because it's being asthmatic. Just put it on. So I'll put a little mask on there. Gearbox seems to be. Let's see if it engages alright. Uh, I'll have a top one. Yeah, that does engage alright. Um, let you in a bit. As you can see. See when I press the lever, that all engages. That does look like I need to get a belt for it. Because so, if I use one of these mowers, self propellant, self push, it's heavy. So, what I'm going to do now spend some time cleaning it up and I'll put you on time lapse for it, hopefully. So, what I'm going to do now is just wipe this off. Oh, I can breathe again. Alright. Right, you know these little bits? Just want to know if this is going to work. Just going to test it out. Um, never mind. I'll do that in a minute. Let's check the air filter out. I need to get a new one of these. Just need replacing as you can see. This I'm thinking about keeping as I said, this might be a good mower for me to use because they're having all the balls and whistles but I would like one with a rear roller would probably be better for me. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. Um so what I'm gonna do hey it's gone dark now. Right. So what I'm going to do is, right, so all the parts have come in for the mount field, so I've whipped out the spark plug already, oh, here it is, a bit filthy, as you can see, if it's going to focus, yeah, a bit filthy, so I've got a new one, NGK, that one, I've already gapped it. Just got it. Um, that's it. That is a lot better. So that one was a champion. So that's probably the original one from new. I would have thought. Uh, so we got that. 
I took the battery out and tried to charge it. It wouldn't come back alive even on my repair charger. So, got a new battery. That one's all good, ready to go. Got the drive belt. And this is a new filter. New filter for it. So, let's get into it. Let's change the air filter. So just two tabs. Oh, push them down. There's the old one. And then there. Uh, right. Just quickly wipe. And then the air filter box. Right, so I'm going to show you how to change the belt. Obviously, got a broken belt on this MTD. I'm going to have some Phillips screws. Alright, I'm going to angle this somewhere different. These look quite rusted, so just be careful with cross threading them. So there's one. We may have to take the blade off as well, not 100% sure. Right, let's see you can see, rusty. There's one, there's one further on them. Right there. So just hands, you can see it around. Right, as you can see, he's one that wants to be a bugger. Let's try a bigger screwdriver. We don't want it to cross thread, so I'm going to need. Just make sure your HT leads off as well. So you know. There's another screw, it looks like there. Okay, I'll sell them. Right. I don't know if we'll be able to do it with a blade still on. Looks like a household screw as well. I'm not sure if I'm the correct screws. Look like household ones to me. So that's four screws. There might be more, but as you can see, mine's got a slight little crack in there. Slight little crack in there, but yeah, what I might have to do. It's going to be easier to take the belt, the blade off. So what I'm going to do is wipe the belt blade off. Right. 
Nice day here in Wales today. I'm shocking me saying that. Right, so I'm just going to wire that down a bit just to get some of the loose grass and stuff off. Just so we don't run the belt off. Doing that now will save us later, you know what I'm saying? So there we go. Right, so it was actually a 14. I thought it was a 50. But that was because all the rust and stuff was on it. Right, there we go. I need to get this back on to George. So the blade does need sharpening. So. Yeah, it needs a sharpen. And the edge is sorting out, so that'll be good. can take this plastic off as you can see it looks pretty clean under there no belt though because the belt's missing so now this is where it gets a bit awkward get that through there might have to do is open up the flap at the back as you can see because I've took away the battery as well um, something to keep that. But, um, this is what I was using, actually. Right, I'll bring you around, and as you can see in there, if you can, because there's sun. The sun is absolutely terrible today. <laughs> so in there, you can see the belt. The belt in my hand. See there the wheel? You want to get that on there. So what we'll do, I'll put you back over there because there's no point putting you there because you can't see. No longer dead. Bring it round. And get it on. So that's no one. Oh no, what we want to do first, actually, idiot. Put you on there first. Because fitting on this tab seemed long, long enough. And while we ordered it off eBay and it said it was. That's why I made him move that forward. awkward it's the first time I've done a belt so I'm learning just as much as you are right so like that give this a push forward one that's it I'm having big chunky hands down well. on there so it's a bit of a game because in there there's like a little spring which is in the way of um, getting it on so just to see if that spring there for the paint to get it on there but once it's on it's on so what I'll do now is put it all back together and then I'll be back with you when it comes to putting the battery back on right so I'm gonna put the battery back in there get the wiring in first so that went. Oh 
I think I'm out on the floor where I like to be, really. to do it in a minute. There we go. That's it. I'll just I'm not connecting it back to the actual what you call it just yet. To the machine. So what we're we doing now. That went that way I believe. So Sideways, because someone already tampered with it. Yeah, it's got to have been sideways. So, we do, we put the wires. Move on that way. What was that at the bottom? I can't remember. No, that was at the top. Presume another screw at a gear that side, which was missing. So I'll just see if I can find another screw. It's cracked down there. Yeah. It's actually cracked. Yeah, so I'll have to figure out some way of getting that to stay on right. So what we'll do now is put the spark plug back in and see if I can make it to run off the thingy, the battery. See what it does. Alright, so let me get the spark plug in. We'll be back.
So she's running good as you can see there. Uh, so if you're new here, please subscribe, hit the bell notification, and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.